Okay, so they finally updated the hotfix here. It's been 22 minutes. Wanted to get my thoughts straight before I talked about this subject here. All over the forums about an hour ago, people are talking about all of the nerfs to elite mob density, Erudu nerfed, but there's no official post. So now the official post is here, been 23 minutes at the time of this recording since they updated it officially, but there's massive changes to the dungeons when it comes to how much experience you can be farming through there by removing a lot of the packs in there. Through my testing, I just wanna give you guys the numbers so you don't have to sit through this video if you don't care, but the dungeons I tested were Eridu, Blind Burrows, and Champion's Demise. So Eridu is completely gutted, 160K experience within the you know first clear of that section. I don't know what it used to be beforehand because I didn't test it, but it clearly wasn't 160K. And you can just see by the mob density, it is completely sparse and there's really not that many enemies in there compared to what it was just yesterday. Whereas Champion's Demise and Blind Burrows, I tested those Champion's Demise with 750K. Yesterday when I tested it, it was like 850. So maybe there's a little variance there or it's a slight nerf to Champion's Demise. And then with Blind Burrows, I got about 500 to 600K when it when I did the test in there. So take with that what you will. If you guys wanna continue doing this method, I think that's still decent experience when it comes to those other sections, but I would hard avoid Iridu because I just don't think it's very good. But now let's actually get to the official things that they did and changed here in these patch notes. So further adjustments to elite monster density in dungeons. The developer's note is we are standardizing the density of elite monsters that spawn in dungeons to ensure that no particular dungeon is clearly more efficient to run through than others. By nature of the dungeons, some are shorter than others. So if you standardize the XP, there's going to be some dungeons that are more efficient than others. But I think the key emphasis that they're talking about here is clearly more efficient because they don't want to have this obvious dungeon that's way better. If you tried running Iridu during the past couple days, the servers were incredibly unstable in that location. Kind of like in the beginning when the game first came out and going to a major town, you get a ton of rubber banding. Same thing happened in Iridu. So they don't want to have this massive server load there. You can argue that they should just buy better servers, but that is not for me to speculate on, in my opinion. I, I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to server stability and server cost. So not going to go there, but that is the goal that they're trying to squash. The clearly more efficient is the key emphasis there. So I think we can all agree that the intended design philosophy of this game was not to just run dungeons over and over and over again. It is to go to Nightmare Sigils, and then it is also to go to Helltide Zones. You're constantly changing dungeon, you're changing monster types, you're changing the actual core objective of everything, and you're going back and forth, and then experience is on the back end, and obviously the game was you know, made to be very grindy when it comes to hitting 100. It's like a big deal to hit 100. You can tell that that was what they were intending to do, that it wasn't about getting into a group of four people and running dungeons. I feel like this patch feels on two fronts. So first, on the action side of the action ARPG, where you're constantly going through and you see all these enemies and you're taking them all on, the screen's going nuts, removing mob density, is preventing that. And I think there's a lot of cool moments like when you are facing the most efficient places in the XP, it's all these mobs everywhere and that's cool. And so removing that removes a lot of the cool factor of you taking on all these enemies. Next, it is human nature to want to do things most efficiently. I think the big issue is that it is so much more efficient to run dungeons that people are willing to do that, not get any Nightmare Sigil XP, not get any Helltide Zone materials, and they were still willing to do that because keep in mind, both of those things still get experience, but the disparity in the experience is so high that they were willing to front load all the experience through the dungeons, then go back through and get the Nightmare Sigils, go back through, get all the Helltide Zone materials. That is a massive issue in the game design, in my opinion. You have the intended mechanics there, and they're still incentivizing you, but it's so much worse than this other way. So I think th they should kind of meet in the middle here. Nerfing the elite density is just a big uh, flex tape issue for a bigger problem of them not incentivizing us to do the things that they want us to do. I feel like if they wanted to truly fix this, they can do a little positive reinforcement instead of constant negative reinforcement of just nerfing everything to the ground and then finally we decide to play the game that they want us to play it. If they were to boost rates, like for example, you beat a Nightmare Sigil, then you get a boosted experience thing on the next dungeon that you do that's different than the one you were doing currently to encourage us to do it. Or you give us a big boost of experience at the end of the dungeon. So then we are incentivized to finish the dungeon. And then you have it to where that dungeon's on cooldown. So like, let's say you do blind burrows and then you finish it. Boom, you get this big boost of experience. Okay, 
go to the next dungeon. So instead of just running blind burrows again, that might be like an S tier dungeon. You have to go to the next dungeon and then you have to go to the next one. And then eventually that cooldown resides and you could go back to blind burrows. So both of those solutions, in my opinion, would encourage people to constantly change dungeons, constantly play the game as intended and feel rewarding to do it instead of looking back, oh man, it used to be so much better if we were resetting this and we could have been 100 by now. So it's like, I think it just would feel better that way and it would get us to actually do the things that we're supposed to be doing. And then I think people might even prefer it more so because then we're not neglecting other aspects of the game. We get to experience the game fully. So that's my take when it comes to these changes here. A couple of closing things are the legendary aspect changes. So they fixed a lot of the, the bugs when it comes to these legendary aspects. I wish they were just more clear that they say they resolved aspect of Berserk Ripping. I wonder if that means that they reactivated the legendary aspect of Berserk Ripping or they just fixed it. And then we'll let you know later when we actually re-enable it. So I wish they're a little bit more clear there. Not sure, but cool that they are fixing these things relatively quickly. So curious to hear your guys' thoughts down below. And with that, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.